This was sent to me by y'all. Apparently some kid while he was playing a video game swatted himself. I don't, I don't know how that's possible for real, but he did it. He did it. Let's take a look at this kid out here while in the street swatting himself by accident. Hit the like button, drop some comments. Tell me your opinion. Oh, that was my bad. That was my bad. I was, play, I was playing the game and uh, I got fucked out the gun. How about that? What? No, no. It's only me home. That was 17 year old Kentucky native Elijah Sirach, who mistakenly called the police and told them he killed two people while playing. Fam, that's crazy. And they was like, oh, nah, we not playing no games. They was like, we, we not playing with you, buddy. You, how many? I'm, oh, we on our way. A video game. Wish they came that fast in, in my old neighborhood. Handcuffed me immediately. You play video games? Yeah, he yeah. said he was. He pissed somebody off. I was playing Rick up the Yo, wait, he was playing video games. He pissed somebody off. Like, he got so mad that he was just like, ah, and then he, come on, bro. Or oh, is he asking, did he uh, make someone mad and then they swatted him or something of that nature? That could be the case. That could be the case. Now joining us is Elijah Siraki. Elijah, thanks he for coming still on. Looks how you scared. doing? Pretty good. How are you doing? Doing well. So, I mean, first and foremost, how the heck did this happen? So I was sitting down on my couch uh, playing Rainbow Six Siege with my two best friends, Tyler and Devin. And uh, all of a sudden... Gave the best friends a shout out. Let them know who the friends was. They was like, yo, listen, I'm going to shout my man Pookie Ray right now. <laughs> Yo, I would do that just to be a clown, bro. Just to make fun of old school uh, television and news. Anytime you get, yo, man, I want to give a shout out to my home girl. Like, you know. um, we're in the middle of a match, and I, I, I killed two people. I, I got two kills, and I after that I died. So I go on my phone to watch TikTok. That's what I usually do when I die, and um, I see a call on my phone. Nine one one, and so I start freaking out. I'm like, <laughs> yo, man, search. So I just went on TikTok. That, that's what uh, I do when I die. Oh my gosh, Tyler, Devin, I just, I, I, I'm going to find someone one. I just come up what I do. So I call him back, but I can't call him back. So I start getting, I start getting, I got three phone calls from the dispatch trying to call me to figure out what's going on. And in uh, no more than two minutes, uh, my dog started barking at the front door. And, the and then this Felito comes out with something in his hand. That, this could have ended badly. This could have ended badly. He come out with something in his hand. In <laughs> Yo, bro. You all it. And how does it all happen for a butt dial? Like, what? Take your phone out your pocket. What are you, what are you doing? What are you doing? And then you was just going to go on TikTok right after? <laughs> this is your day off? Do you do nothing? Well, he is 17, right? It's my dog. So they brought their front door. I was a little bit more active than this. I had a job since I was like 14. And they run over to me on the couch. Out here in the field. Run back to the front door. And so the out there, there's, there's four uh, police patrol cars out there. Oh my gosh. So four patrol cars are out there. When you accidentally ca uh, called them, did you say while you were on the phone with them, I just killed two people? So Yikes. I did say that. Yes. I, uh, it was a four. Uh, I looked at my call logs. It was a four minute phone call. Um, and in that four minutes, I did say I killed two people. Wow. So how did you convince them that it was you were just playing a video game and you didn't actually kill? You probably went in there, seen some video games. I don't know. <laughs> Yo, I, I don't know, fam. This is crazy. You got to be more careful, man. Two people. So as they, so as I'm trying to figure out what to do, because the, the cops are outside, so I have, two, I have two decisions. I either stay inside and then I'm down the front door or I walk outside with my hands up. So I'm like, you know, this is what has my hands up. What's going to go wrong? So in the video, you see with the phone in your hand, that was a bad move. That could have went worse, bro. Walk out and I take and so I'm like, stay right there, hands up or whatever. And as you see me, I, I walk forward, like walk towards me. So I walk forward and I look over to my right. On my right side, there's an officer with a gun pointed at me and he scares me. You can see I kind of jump over with my hands up. And uh, I'm like, and he asked me questions. Is anybody hurt? Are you hurt? I'm like, no, only me in the house. I'm the only person in the house. So I start walking down and they're like, so what happened? I don't know, I was playing a video game. And like, what game was it? I'm like, Rainbow Six Siege. And he's like, oh, okay, uh, how old are you? And at the time, he, he, uh, he tapped me down uh, with my hand behind my back. And one of them has a gun pointed at me because you never know. I, I you know, the cops react and they just like, there's one of those video game kids again. 
They tired of this. The cops is tired of this, bro. They had enough. They like, yo, oh man. They already, he has a he makes money mad or something. Cause he he assumed probably that another kid called the, the cops on him. They decided to kill people, for revenge. so uh, I understand what they're, what they're trying to do. And Must have uh, thought he was a live streamer. Uh, and so like, what, what game is it? Blah, blah. They start asking me questions. And I am visibly shaking so hard that they, that I, I figured that they knew I was, uh, it was a mistake. Uh, I was, I was shaking a lot. Of course. Yeah. And I'm sure once you brought up the fact that you were playing a video game, their tone certainly changed of how they perceived you. And they immediately probably knew, hey, this is a young kid who, who might have made a mistake here. Uh, did sure. you? So did you? And look like butt- and look like he's still shooken up. It looks like he's still like, like kind of like shook of what happened. And I can't blame me, young and all that stuff. Is had a bunch of weapons pulled out on you. Dialed the police, but did did your phone actually hit nine one one, or did some button on your phone go off? So what I believe it was is if you hit the power button and the uh, the volume button at the same time on the iPhone, it'll uh, pop up to emergency SOS. You have to slide it. Um, I'm, I believe that's what I did on accident. I, the, uh, the button slid. How does that, that was, <laughs> how does that happen in your pocket? Man, like, did you have some tight ass pants on? Like, it squeezed like both sides of the phone from what my understanding is. Uh, straight to what a those buttons are? dispatcher or a, uh, call center. And they were there. You said what in two to four minutes they showed up. Yes, sir. Oh my gosh. So you go outside, they have a gun pointed at you. You say you were playing a video game. At what point when, when you were talking to them, did they put the gun down and kind of realize that you had made a mistake? Don't look like it. Look like my man right here had that on him. He was like, you, you ain't going to catch me slipping, buddy. You ain't going to catch me slipping. <laughs> He's not playing games. And then someone came from the back too. That was when, um, so yeah, during tell. this point, I'm like, hey, I'm home alone. My parents are at home. Do you mean to call my mom or whatever? And he's like, uh, no, not yet. I'm like, all right, how about now? He's like, yeah, I'm going to call her. So I call. No, not yet. <laughs> yeah. They need to call his parents immediately. What are they, what are they talking about? Call her and they talked to her. And at, at the time, she's like, uh, he, uh it, was, it was an accident. I, I was looking through the, uh, through the ring camera. It was an accident. They finally lowered the guns. And at that mm-hmm. point, I bring them inside to check around the house. Uh, did you think they handled things well, considering you made a mistake, but also keeping in mind that you did call them and say nah, you yeah. two people? They they let out the procedure very, very professionally. Uh, as a matter of fact, um, once once they figured out, you know, it was it was an accident, something like that. They 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 did calm me down a little bit. They sat me down and they talked to me about. Yeah, it looked like weapons still on you too. <laughs> the rainbow six feet. It looked like it looked like. <laughs> No, 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 it's down, it's down. It's still in his hand. It's not still on him. Like that. So <laughs> yeah, they they handled it pretty pretty well. This seemed like some crazy promo for whatever that game is. Uh I'm not gonna get into the conspiracies, but they promoting the hell out of this game with this. Yeah, there there was a report that one of the officers asked you who your favorite operator was. Did that actually happen? Yes. Yeah, so when I was inside with the uh it's it was crazy. me and five or five other officers in my house. Uh, one of them walked up to me. He's like, "Hey, son, what's your favorite operator?" <laughs> and, you know, I tell him, I, I'm, "I'm like, hey, it's Ying. I use her a lot." He's like, "Hey, I like her." So, yeah. Oh I mean, my gosh! Like- so they played the game too. That's that's not a surprise. That's not a surprise. Are you gonna play with the officer now on the game? I wish I could. I really wish I could. He's a really really nice guy. I I, I met him. I I I know him. I don't know if you remember me, but I I, I met him a few years back. Uh, so I know him. Yeah. So how, how did no. this all end? Uh, the police left. They knew you made a mistake. And have they followed up with you at all? They have not. So what they did. <laughs> you say he knew, how do you know him? Did you get into other incidents? Like what, what happened? It is. Before you they know left, him. Two officers came inside my house again and they said, hey, look, uh, I'm, I'm sorry about all this. I know it was a mistake. I'm sorry if we scared you. Um, but if you ever need anything, call us. You know, we can come back here. We can, we can situate things. If you, if you want to talk to your parents, we got, we got you. Man, they they need to talk to. Did they not talk to the parents? The police just left. They was like, "All right, we out, <laughs> we, we out." We ain't wasting our time. But all, like, all well, that's they, crazy. They did a pretty good job. They calmed me down a lot. I, I, after that, I was still shaking for about an hour. Uh, because after that, I I put my headset back I on and I, I, was, I was like, Tyler, uh, Devin, the cops are just here, and I was still shaking. I could. First thing you did. 
That's our kids are, right? They played for a little bit, but I was fine after that. Uh, you, I can't believe you went back to the game after all that, too. I, I had to finish crazy. the game. <laughs> That's crazy. I had to finish the game. That was my priority. Had to finish the game. The game it meant the world. <laughs> That's dedication. I don't doubt it. Uh, wh- what, what did your parents say about all this? So, um, as I was there on the phone with my mom outside, uh, next to the patrol cars, um, she said that she got a call from the, um, from a sergeant and the two other officers. And at the point when she said that she saw the video, she, she showed her coworkers cause she thought it was pretty funny because she, she, she knew it was a joke, obviously. Uh, and she knew it was, it wasn't serious. Um, after they got me down there and calm. So. In the beginning, she was a little frightened, but at the very end, uh, of course, she would be. Uh, you know, we all had a great laugh about it. Yeah, and I'm sure she was just happy that you're safe. Uh, Elijah, I before did. you go, can I give you one piece of advice? No. Yes, sir. Maybe put your phone on the on the side. Put why? <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with you? You gonna put have your phone in your pocket? The other end <laughs> of the room. Next time you play the game, I don't want it in your pocket. How about I that? Have this happening again to you? All right. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Elijah. That's something that he should have thought about. That's crazy, bro. That is crazy. I think that's wild. I think that's <laughs> kind of insane, but hopefully you learn from the mistake, man. That could have been way worse. It could have had a different ending, but let me know what you think in the comment section. Hit the like button as well.